All right, Shalom. 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 Hey, first off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to all the on the highways and byways, pushing the word with truth and sincerity. All right, I'm the brother Benaya. I'm with the brother uh, Aina, my Aiken Bosh. Yeah, you know, we want to do a little quick hit going into uh, how the Most High is basically in control of everything, okay? Every aspect of life, you know, the Most High controls, okay? There's no such thing as a, 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 another entity controlling a, 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 a what goes on, okay? Uh, well, you know, yeah, the Most High, he controls, he controls everything that goes on in the earth. There's no such thing as self-will, okay? You can't control what you do. The Most High has to uh, allow for it to happen. God, you know, hey, like the brother said, hey, the Most High has to allow it, all right? Hey, and our, and our lives are already written out, okay? Meaning the Most High uh, uh, had, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, guided our steps from, from the beginning, man, okay? From, uh, from whence we were born and, and until we die, all right? Uh, with the first scripture I want to get is, uh, you got some? Uh, I said, let's get the precepts. Okay, come all right this is daniel chapter 4 verse 17 it says this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men okay the most high it says to the uh so like okay read uh like, can't read the to the intent. It says, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay, it says by the decree of the watchers, man, to the intent that the living may know that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, ruleth in the kingdom of men, all right? It is not by, uh, by uh, man's own will that he rules, okay? All right, keep going, brother. It says, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and setteth up over it the basis of men. Okay, it says the Most High gives it to whoever He will. Okay, so whoever the Most High choose to be king at that time, hey, hey, that's that's who that's who is king. All right, and it says set up the basis of men, which we know that the Most High have set up Esau. Okay, Esau is in rulership right now. Okay, and it's not by his own power. All right, okay. and it says that in uh, I think uh, Daniel nine where it say uh, his power he will his he will be mighty, but not by his own power. Okay, hey, like I said, it's the Most High that uh, 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 rules in the kingdom of man. All right. You got that problem? I got, I got up. No, Job chapter nine verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? Hey, God. It says uh, 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 the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Okay, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. All right. And, uh, 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 and like I said, hey, the earth is given to the hands of Esau right now. And like I just said earlier, man, it's not by his own power, okay? So Esau did, Esau did not do this by his own strength, okay? It, it was by the decree, you know, of, uh, in the order of the Most High, all right? And it said it covered the faces of the judges thereof, all right? Meaning changed the way, uh, 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 you know, lying about how the, uh, uh, the son of the Most High looks, okay? And who the real Israelites are, all right? Okay? Uh, and they said, uh, uh, can you read the, uh, the end of the... Uh, it says, uh, uh, um... If not, where and who is he? Okay, that's the question, all right? That's giving you a hint, man. Okay, a clue, all right? And, hey, you know, I know y'all seen Blue's Clues. Got the paw print. Esau got the paw print around his goddamn chest, man. All right? That's the clue, all right? That's the wicked, man. Okay? Get that right. verse. You got something to say, bro? I was just going to say, uh, I got. I had a precept, but if you want to get that in Proverbs, I'm going to take a precept, bro. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 2. Give ear. Ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of Yahweh, and sovereignty from the highest. Who shall try your works, and search out your counsels? So the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, is the one who delegates the, uh, the uh, authority. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, that goes into... That goes into understanding that those men didn't set themselves up, okay? The Most High set them up, which is, uh, 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 it, it sows into the topic of there's no such thing as free will, mm -hmm. okay? Everything is controlled by Yahweh, man, the Heavenly Father, all right? Yeah, everything is controlled by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And, uh, even what these uh, what these kings think, all right? Everything is, is controlled, all right? And Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, puts in the heads of the, uh, the rulers, man, what what uh, uh what he wants them to do, okay? And to prove that, uh, get Proverbs, brother. This is Proverbs twenty one and one. 
the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. Okay, the king's heart. Okay, the king's the king's mind. Okay, is in the hands of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. You go as the rivers of water. Mm -hmm. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay, he said he turneth uh, which whithersoever he will. Okay, so whatever the Most High want these want these uh, 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 the rulers to do, you know, they have to do it. Okay. I uh, remember uh, one scripture said, "Who can who can uh, 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 refuse his will?" You know, just roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Uh, I got a precept. Time, really. All right. This is uh, First Kings chapter twenty-two. It says, uh, verse nineteen, and he said, "Hear thou, therefore, the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand." And on his left. Now, this uh, is, is is a is a vision, okay, that that uh, the, uh, one of the prophets had for one of uh, for uh, I believe this is a uh, let's see, Jeho uh, I believe it's Jehoshaphat. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the king of Israel. Oh, I'm sorry, Ahab, Salakia. This this was this prophecy was for Ahab. Yeah, you had Ahab who was the uh, the king of the uh, of the of the northern kingdom, and then you had uh, Jehoshaphat was the was, uh, southern kingdom king. All right, but it says uh, verse twenty. It says, and Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this matter, and another said on that matter. Now, this, like I said, is a vision concerning Ahab's uh, destruction. Okay, because they were at war at, uh, with one another. Okay. And the Most High is having a council or a meeting with the spirits in heaven, just like how there was a council and a meeting uh, uh, in the book of Job. It describes that as well, where the sons of God uh, uh, gathered themselves uh, together, you know. Uh, and uh, so the Most High was inquiring of all of the multitude of spirits because he is the father of spirits. Which spirit he is gonna use, he's going to use to persuade a man, particularly in this case, the king of Israel. It says... Verse 21, and there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So the Most High used the spirit. To be a lying spirit in the mouth of uh, of Ahab, I'm sorry, in the mouth of uh, in the mouth of uh, of, uh, of of the prophets, you know. So he basically put the spirit on the false prophets to persuade Ahab to go up to uh, 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 Ramoth Gilead so that he could be killed by the sword, because that was the will of the Most High. Let's go back to that uh, scripture that we brought out in Pro was that in Proverbs uh, 21. Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, it says Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. Right. So the king's heart, it was in the control when you have something in your hand, that that means you have control of it. Okay, like I got I have you in the palm of my hand. That means I got control over you. Okay, that king's heart, his mind, is in the control of who? Yahweh. Right. Go ahead. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. So if you look at uh from the satellite of uh, uh different water, different rivers, man. I believe the uh, the Amazon River, you know, it, it's very uh, it's, it curves a lot. You know, when you look at it from up from up the uh, from up from up top from the uh, shoot the Mississippi River is a good is a good example of that. Oh. If you look at the border of Mississippi and you zoom in, like a bunch of little squiggly lines, mm -hmm. okay, and that's that's the will of the Most High turning. That's a uh, that's a, a metaphor for uh, uh, which way the Most High can turn your heart, either left or right or whatever, man. Which uh, goes back to how we should reverence the Most High, you know. So we go, we go into like there's no such thing as free will, man. Okay, hey, there's no such thing as free will. You know, and that's uh that's one of the uh, uh, lies that they push in the Christian church. Like you can you can choose when you want to worship the Most High, or if you could, if you want to worship the Most High. Okay, you don't choose the Most High. The Most High chooses you. Okay, uh, get that in Proverbs, brother. Uh, sixteen. This is Proverbs sixteen and nine. Smart here. Proverbs sixteen and nine. It says a man hearts devises. A man's heart devises his devises so like his way. Yeah, a man's heart devises his way. Okay, when you go into that word, it means like think of. Okay, uh, uh, a man. Uh, uh, imagine. Yeah, or imagine. Uh, when you look up the word uh, on Google, okay, it says plan. 
okay? It says uh, uh, the man's heart plans his way, okay? But Yahweh directed his steps, okay? Yahweh directed your, self, uh, your steps, man, okay? Just like I said earlier, man, hey, our lives are already planned out, man. From, from, from birth to death, man. What what we gonna do, okay? What's gonna happen to us, okay? And then, uh, then you know, uh, 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 how we die, all right? Hey, man, it's not, a, it's not, it's no such thing as free will, man. Okay. Yeah, the Most High uh, is the ultimate director. Yeah, uh, it's like a director, you know, and, and we're just the characters, you know. We're just living out his script, you know. Hey, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter ten, verse twenty-three. Oh, Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. Hey, the man of ways are not in himself, man. Okay, keep going. I'm going to read from the top. It says, Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh uh -huh. to direct him st his steps. Hey, it's not in our way that, uh, uh, to walk. We don't direct. Man, we don't direct our steps, okay? Hey, our, our life, uh, like I say, our lives are planned out, man. Okay? This day, you know, me and the brothers, you know, walking through the park. Hey, that was already planned out, man. Before we even work, woke up, man. Okay? That was already written, man, and what's going to happen and what we're going to do that day, okay? Hey, the most I did it, man. It's not about our own free. We just didn't wake up and say, hey, uh, 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 I got free will. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go to the park today. Nah, man, okay? Ultimately, it was written down, man, okay? Mm -hmm. The most I planned it out, all right? Uh, did you get that in? I did. Isaiah 45. So. Okay. That was all you wanted in, in Jeremiah? Uh, it says it's Isaiah. Mm -hmm. It says Isaiah 45 and 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no power besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. Okay, it says, I am Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and there is none else, man. Okay, meaning, whatever goes on in life, in every aspect of life, man, whether it be positive or negative, man, hey, the Most High uh, ordained it to happen, man. He planned it out, okay? Mm -hmm. going? It says, verse 7, I form the light. I form the light. And create darkness. And create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I make peace and I create evil, okay? I Yahweh do all these things. I Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah do all these things, okay? So there's no there's no such thing as as, as uh, 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 Satan uh, uh, versus Yahweh by Yahweh, okay? Hey, man, Satan is in order, man, okay? Satan has to be in order to take the orders from the Most High, all right? He, he can't just do what the hell he want to do, man, okay? There's orders in the heaven, man, all right? Just like that, that prayer says, hey, uh, your will be done, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, man. Okay, meaning there's order in heaven, okay? And there's going to be order set up on, on, on the earth, man. All right? Uh, I got a precept. No, really. This is Job chapter 14, uh, verse 3. It says, And doest thou uh, and doest thou open thine eyes upon such an one, and bringest me not into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined... The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the Most High has set up uh, particular boundaries that uh, uh, that we can't that we can't uh, go go up any farther than. Okay. We're in this flesh. All right. We can't make ourselves. Matter of fact, what's that in uh, in uh, uh, I think it's Matthew chapter six, uh, where how should I say? Can you can you add uh, one cubit to your height, or can you make your your hairs gray? Uh, you know, you can't make your hair, you can't uh, change the color of your hair or grow an inch uh, of hair or levitate off the ground, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or grow another finger, you know what I'm saying? You can't even, you can't even go, some people, you know, can't even go a, a, a week without eating, eating, man, you know? If you got free will, if you really truly got free will, just go ahead and just flow off the ground for more than two seconds, you know what I'm saying? Without jumping, just go up and... You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got free will, okay? I believe you can just do that. We don't have no free will, man. That's right. That's free right. means you can do whatever the hell you you don't have. There's no boundaries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there's nothing that's preventing you from uh, from doing anything. That's that's free will. The Most High is the only one who has that amount of raw power. You got you got. Did you find it? It's he all good. It. You, it's nah, all good if you didn't find it. Um, and uh, there was one in uh, Job 36. I wanted to get to. Um. This is Job, I'm sorry, Job 33. Job 33, verse uh, 14. All right, it says, for the most high, what? Uh, I'm going to start at verse, 
verse 12. It says, ooh, I'm going to start at verse 11. All right. It says, uh, Job chapter 33 and 11, he putteth my feet in the stocks, he marketh all my paths. Behold, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee, that the most high is greater than man. So who are you to strive against your maker? You know, who are you to, uh, to, to try to say that, that, that you're, that you, uh, know better than the most high, you know what I'm saying? So you can, so you can, uh, so you can, uh, so you can basically control your own steps. The most high is the one that controls your steps. Verse 13, why doest thou strive against him? For he giveth not account of any of his matters. To my, uh, Isaiah 45 and 9. nine. Yeah. Uh, you want to bring that out real quick? So Isaiah 45 and 9. Woe unto him that strive with his his maker. Let the pot shirt strive with the pot shirts of the earth. Right, man. So a pot shirt is basically uh, uh, something that's uh, made out of out of clay. All right. It says, "Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou?" Right. Oh. So the uh, the pot shirt striving with the pot shirts of the earth mean let the creation fight amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to yeah. fight with the creator, you know. That's why this place is going to get destroyed because their pride has reached up unto heaven, thinking that they can amalgamate themselves together to come against the heavenly Father. When in their in their in their mind, they, they think that that's going to uh, 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 be a success, but it's actually going to fail. Okay, wow. and we're going to read why. Go ahead. It says, "Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, fashioneth it, what makest thou? Or thy work? He hath no hands." Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that was the end of that first one. Woe unto him that strive. No. Uh, okay. Uh, this is Isaiah 45 and 9. Woe unto him that strive with, with his maker. Yeah. That's the point right there. <laughs> so destruction unto you that uh, try to buck up against uh, uh, against your maker, man. Uh, you know, you make a draw and it try to say, man, you shaded me wrong. You know, or you make a, a, a you don't even make your son, but, you know, you, you bring him into the world through your seed. You know what I'm saying? So to an extent, you know. The Most High actually created us. The, you know, the Son, the Spirit, the Spirit comes from the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? And and and, uh, and the body, you know, uh, and and the Spirit come together, you know, to, to make your Son. But even if your Son uh, uh, try to bug up against you, you didn't actually make him from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, the Most High made his soul. Uh, 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 even if your Son try to come up against you, man, that's highly disrespectful, man. Right. You see? If I can say some, you know, like these peons, you know, uh, you know, they try to come up against the Most High. You know, and, and Esau, you know, the so-called white man is at the head of that because he, you know, pushes Satanism, you know, so-called do as I will, you know, but we've been proven through the scriptures that there's no free will, you know, and, and uh, you know, the so-called white man is going to be destroyed for that, you know, and everybody that's a Satanist here gonna, is going to be destroyed for that. Hey, anybody, even the scoffers, man, okay, when we out on the highways and byways pushing this word with truth and sincerity, man, hey, they're coming up against, they're coming up, uh, they're coming up against us, okay, ultimately they're coming up against our maker, man, because we're not speaking of our own thoughts, man. We we're saying, thus yeah. saith Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shine, man. Okay? Hey, like like uh, like the scripture said, hey man, you striving with your you striving against the uh, the maker, man. Okay? These are his words, man. He said he hated, okay? Alright? Uh for those so-called Christians who say that God is our love, alright? Or right, uh, any other uh, uh peon American, man, who walks around with that uh, uh that mindset, man. Okay? God bless America, man. Hey, that's going against the scriptures, man. The most I condemns this place, man. Alright? You striving against the maker, man. You striving, uh, you striving against what he wants to happen, man. Okay, his judgment for this place, man. All right. Then which is rebellious? Uh, and it says, "Woe unto you, man! Destruction unto you, man." Okay. okay? Hey, somebody get Ephesians uh, one and nine. Okay. All right. Because you you might hear what this brother just said and ask, "Well, how do we know this?" Let's back it up with the scriptures, and then another brother can get uh, Amos three and seven. Okay. This is uh, Ephesians chapter one, verse nine. Start at verse six. Okay. Start at verse uh, three. Okay. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 Blessed be Yahweh and Father of our of our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings And heavenly places in Hamashiach According as he has chosen us in him Before the foundations of the world Right chosen alright Who chose us Who According as he has chosen us before the foundation of the world Yahweh Shai chose us man That's right Okay We don't choose yeah. to let Jesus or or or, or, or 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 whatever into our we life like these Christians, yeah. yeah, you know, I accept you, um. I accept you. <laughs> he had to make himself perfect yeah. for he, he for, for to come to you. But you see, but. the thing is, we 
in, 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 in reality should be trying to come to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because he's the one that we need to get like. Okay? Mm -hmm. You don't need to get like us. We, we need to get like him. All right? Uh, go ahead and read verse 4 from the top of my tongue. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. According to... According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Right. Having, right. Uh, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Predestinated, man. We've been predestinated. Okay, pre meaning before. Destiny, that's something that's gonna that's going to uh, uh that's inevitable. Okay. So this is our future here. So he determined the future from uh -huh. the beginning. Okay? Like the scriptures say. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, verse 6. To pray. Oh, to I'm read verse 5 again. Okay, verse 5. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. According to the good pleasure of his will. Okay? His will. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shah said, let, let thy will be done. done. <laughs> okay? So Yahweh Shah doesn't have uh, uh even doesn't have a uh, dominion uh over uh his will isn't he isn't isn't even over uh the will of the most high okay the most uh, uh yahweh shai submitted uh unto the will of yahweh man okay and so how much more us yeah. being lower than yahweh shai okay in the spirit how much more us man to to follow uh uh that order man you see to, and, and, and to accept we have to accept the Most High's will, okay? We have to accept His will. Why? Because He understands more than us. He's the power that created the cosmos, okay? All right, and, and the cosmos and the um, and the Oiko Mini, <laughs> all right? He He created He created everything, man. Okay, cosmos meaning uh, uh, uh like a like a governing body or or a world, uh, you know, and then uh, yeah, a harmonious arrangement, and then Oiko Mini. That's the, the entire world, the actual Earth. You know, in the Greek, uh, but you know, uh, verse six. Yeah, keep going. Huh. This is uh, Ephesians chapter one, verse six. To pray to the praise of the glory of His grace, uh, wherein He had made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through the, through His blood and forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of His grace, wherein He had uh, abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Uh, having made known unto us the mysteries of his will. Right. So he's the one who allowed us to understand the scriptures. Okay. Yeah. How about Shimei Al Shai, man? Is the power that allowed us to understand the things that we that we understand today. All right. And so that's why uh, 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 we're going. We're bringing this out because it wasn't of our will to know this. It was the Most High's will to know this. All right. So everything from what you eat in the morning. Oh, we didn't even finish that in Job 33. Uh, everything from what you uh, eat in the morning I got to uh, to uh, uh, to everything to what you dream and what you think and carry out in your day to day, man, is controlled by your how about Shmuel Shai? All right, I, I, all right. I got it. Uh, did you finish first? Uh, uh, no, verse nine. No, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I started talking again. Verse nine. Having made known unto us the mysteries of His will, according to His great pleasure, which He have uh, proposed in Himself. Keep going. Um. That's, that's about it, you know, on the point, you know what I'm saying? According to his good pleasure is what I wanted to get, you know, because that it, it pleases the most high. That's why these things are going down, because they're pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Us receiving his knowledge, all right? You got that in Job? This is Job 33 and, six, and, and 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men. And still with their instruction. In a dream, in a deep vision of the night, what Esau calls REM sleep. All right, when your when your mind is uh is a uh, is uh, is at uh, is at its deep full amount, amount amount of rest. Okay, then the Most High what it says. Then he openeth the ears of men. Okay, then he opens your spiritual ears because your ears don't close. <laughs> okay. Then he uh, go ahead. He enters into your mind. Go ahead and seal with their instruction and seals your instruction. So he sends that program into your mind, that thought, that inception. OK, that movie inception. Where do you think they got that? Where do you think Esau got that from man? All right. They got that from the scriptures. OK, because the most high is the one that implants the idea in your head. And then you follow and then you follow through with it. All right. So and, and, and so particularly at, uh, at nighttime uh, when you're sleeping. OK, mm -hmm. 
Uh, is there more? Did you, uh, that was it, but did you want this, uh, there, Amos? Yeah, let's get that, and then okay. we can wrap it up. Okay. Yeah, and just check. Yep, that was it. All right, this is Amos 3 and 7. It says, surely the Lord, Yahweh will do... You wanted 7, right? Okay. Sorry, your brothers. This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh would do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right, and that's the Most High's will. Uh, to uh, uh, to to only reveal the mysteries of this of these scriptures, man, the Holy Bible to his to his prophets. God. Okay, it's not the Most High's will, like I said earlier, you know, uh, to reveal uh, 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 these mysteries to everybody. Okay, because it talked about that in uh, in, uh, in Second Ezra, all right, where uh, uh, the Most High commanded Ezra to to write books of the visions that he received, and then he said uh, uh, seal uh, uh, basically seal certain books. Okay. Uh, so that the uh, well, basically publish certain books so that the worthy and the unworthy may read it, and then see, uh, and then uh, don't publish the other ones, seventy other books, so that the uh, so that the uh, only the the uh, the worthy may may read it, okay? And the worthy are coming back to these knowledge, knowledge uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures, man, which is a beautiful thing, all right? And all of it is according to the will of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, all right? You have anything else? I mean, uh, I want to bring this up Romans, you know, but go ahead. Uh -huh. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, and it's kind of lengthy, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Bro, go, bring it on. up. <laughs> I started 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. Right, so the Most High purposely decided to disdain Esau, to hate Esau, okay, and to love Jacob. All right? Is there unrighteousness with, with the Most High? Is he wrong? Who art thou to strive against, uh, to against, to, to against, the, against the Most High? We're but men, you see. So even if we don't understand it, that doesn't make the Most High unrighteous. Okay, He hasn't given you the understanding, and that's according to His will. You know. Go ahead. Okay, verse fifteen. He had, for He said uh, to Moses, "I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion." I think that's uh, Isaiah fifty-five. So okay, so 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 the Most High said, "I'm gonna have mercy on whoever I decide to have mercy on," which is why we say we're of the hopeful elect, okay? Because we don't choose ourselves like we like we like we said earlier, like we brought up through the scriptures, okay? And he and he's gonna have compassion on who he has compassion, okay? He's gonna punish who he wants to punish, but it's gonna be righteous. It's gonna be uh, 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 according to judgment. Okay, go ahead. Verse 16. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. For the scripture has said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. It's not it's not of him that will it or that run it, okay, which means it's not according to your will, okay, but it's according to the Most High that controls the elements, all right, and that controls the spirits. You see? Read that, uh, that part about Pharaoh again. Okay, verse 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee. Right. So now Paul is quoting Exodus. All right. And this is uh, how you understand the Bible. You go precept upon precept, precept upon precept. And then uh, uh, you also go uh, uh, line upon line. So sometimes you'll go back and forth here a little, there a little in this book. And then you go in a, and then you go in the New, uh, the New Testament, you go in the Apocrypha. But you all stay within the book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. All right. The books, the scriptures. Okay. And then sometimes you'll read a bunch of lines, line upon line, line upon line, okay, to get that understanding. But this is what Paul has done in order to come to this, uh, to this understanding, okay. So he said, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, referring to Moses, I uh, uh, sent that message to Moses to tell the Pharaoh, okay, uh, uh, so that what? That I, may, that I may show my power in thee. Right, so that the Most High could show his power in Moses, man, okay. He, the Most High could show his power in, uh, in, in, in Moses, Okay, when uh, when he's uh, when he split the seas, when he did when he did all those things according to that faith that he had in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, because the Israelites saw how mighty and powerful Pharaoh was. Okay, he had dominion over uh, over that over that area of land, and he was looked at as a god. Okay, and he basically controlled all the aspects of of uh, of, uh, of Jake's life, man. God. He can make it easier or or, or 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 harder, man, according to according to what he saw, uh, seemed to be his will. Okay, but the Most High is the one. Who is actually in control of everything? You got more? Yeah, I got some more, bro. Uh, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, 
he had mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will and whom he will he harden it. Mm -hmm. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth doeth he yet find fault? For for who hath re, uh, resisted his will? Right. So you could ask, well, why why would you um why would you uh why is there sin then if there's no if there's no free will? He made a sin, okay. Who who can who can resist who can resist his will? He made me sin, okay. The answer oh you, the answer lies in the following verse. But did you have a precept, bro? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, verse twenty. Twenty. Yeah, twenty. Nay, but oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing formed say uh, uh, to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Right, and that's the mindset that Esau, the so-called white man, is going to be in when he gets uh, put in his proper place. Because he's going to be like, why, did, why have you made me a wicked nigga? Well, you know, two-thirds, you know, when destruction comes. Why have you made me thus? That's why we just, man, we can't do nothing but beg, man. Exactly. And, and, and fear and hope <laughs> that Yahweh Bashim Yashai didn't make us one of those men. Hey. That's why we continue to say, we are hope that we are of the elect, because if we're of the elect, we're going to receive the mercy that the uh, that uh, that the elect is going to be prescribed. Hey, uh, if I can say something, bro, uh, 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 like you said, bro, Esau can't resist the will, man, of the Most High, man, because the Most High made him to be the devil, man. Okay, just like Pharaoh couldn't resist the will of the Most High when he hardened his heart, even though the Most High uh, was uh, uh, was bringing all these plagues and, and death to Egypt, you know. Hey, but uh, the Most High still had it in this man uh, uh, mind, okay. Because it says uh, in the scripture that we were earlier, hey, the, the, uh, the hearts of the kings are in the Most High's hand, man. And like the brother said, hey, you in my hand, I control you, okay? The, uh, uh, even with all this death, okay, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and plagues coming to Egypt, man, uh, uh, Pharaoh uh, couldn't resist the will of the Most High uh, uh, that the, uh, because the Most High wanted his heart to be hardened towards the children of Israel, man, okay? Like it says, so he can show his power, man, okay? And the deliverance of the children of Israel. Uh, this is finishing off in verse 20, 21. Have not the potter power over the clay, or the same, or the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another to dishonor? Right. So does not the Most High have power over the clay to make uh, uh, a detestable thing and then a thing that he that he uh, uh, that he admires? The answer is yes, because he's the one who's forming the object. Oh. Okay. Whenever you uh, were in uh, art school and you had the little clay plot, the clay project. They said, just make something, you know, make make an item and you made whatever the hell you want, according to your uh, your will. And you fashioned it uh, to, 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 the, to the best of your ability uh, to your liking. OK, how, how much more the most high, man? He created atoms, man. We can't even we can't even see him. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's the he's the he's the power that's responsible for uh, uh, for uh, for creating that. All right. And, uh, and all the harmonious things that we see. And the earth that Esau is constantly destroying, he is uh, uh, the Most High. How about Shemiah Shai? Is the is the is the author of this creation? All right. And I have one last precept. You have one. Okay, one last one. All right. Uh, in uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 15 verse 7. All right. It says, "For the Potter, tempering soft earth, fashioneth every vessel, which uh, I'm sorry, with much labor for our service. Yea." Of the same clay, he maketh both the vessels that serve for clean uses, and likewise also such as serve to the contrary. All right. So the Most High, Yahweh Bashim uh, Yahweh Shai, the Most High and His Son, made the elements. Okay, and He made the creation, man. All right, and also the the powers too, because if you go in Genesis one and one, it says Allah Yum, which is plural. All right, the powers, the uh, the the most. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the 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 only begotten Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, and His angels were used to make to make this creation. Okay, and so when you read it, uh, I'm gonna read that verse again in verse seven. It says, "For the Potter, tempering soft earth, fashioneth every vessel with much labor for our service." Okay, so the Most High put in, he put in work, man. Okay, the the the, the Most High uh, uh, gave gave Yahweh Shai and the angels the blueprint to put in that work to uh, to create all of these things that we see. Oh, okay, and uh, and that's and that's why uh, he is supposed to be revered. Continuing on, it says, "Yea, of the same clay he maketh both the vessels that serve for clean uses, and likewise all such as serve to the contrary. But what is the use of either sort? The Potter himself is the judge. So us men on the earth, the Most High determines what our use is. 
We are here for a reason. Okay, the elect are here to uplift Yahweh Bashim Yashai, to glorify him. Esau is here to blaspheme and give that balance, man, because you can't just have uh, 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 good without evil. Okay? Most of the uh, uh, balanced power, man. Right. Okay? You know, so that was, uh, that was it. You know, that was it on that. You know, matter of fact, I, I, I'll read one more verse down. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, and employing his labors lewdly, he maketh a vain god of the same clay, even he which make uh, which a little before was made of earth himself, and within a little while after returneth to the same, out of which out of the which he was taken when his life was lent him, uh, 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 shall be demanded. When the life which was which was lent him shall be demanded. So this is going into making uh making idols. You know what I'm saying? When uh when when these heathen and two thirds of our people. You know, uh, make make these idols, man. Especially uh, back in the ancient world when they made the idols, uh, they were fashioned according to their to their liking. But it'd be a vain thing, all right. And they when they were fashioned out of what clay. And what are we made out of? Earth, Adam, okay, which means ground, okay. So that's why, uh, 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 basically, man, we are the the formation of the how about Shai. That's all. I, want. I mean, I, I got something. I like, real quickly want to how you saying like you fashion. This is uh, Sirach chapter 33 verse 13 As the clay is in the potter's hand To fashion it as he ple at his pleasure So man is in the hand of him That made him to render them, uh, to render to them As like it him best Right so that's basically a summary of what we just read In Wisdom of Solomon man All right, Just like how the, the potter uh, uh, Makes the clay The most high makes us All right, And he controls everything man He's in complete control we have no free will All right only thing we do is carry out what we're told by Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right. And Lord willing, you know, it's pleasing to him. All right. So, uh, hey, you know, brothers, that have any more precepts? With that, Lord willing, with this is edified. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Bashim Yashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.